nil. An extraordinary, unexpected scoreline. Sean, what was more at play there, the brilliance of John Higgins or a below-par Kyron Wilson? Do you know, it was a little bit of both for me. I thought John played very, very well, as he knew he had to. He hasn't had the best of seasons by his own very high standards. Kyron's been very consistent, but he didn't play great. They missed a few chances, and Higgins took you know, took the benefits of those. How will Kyron have felt as a professional at the end of a session like that? Absolutely sick. You know, you come out to a big match like this, you look forward to playing here all year, and then to come out and to not win a frame. You know, you've not thrown the match away, but it's so far away. Yeah. You know, not many matches have been won from this far behind. He would be absolutely sick. The big problem for Kyron is that at the end of the session, as he left the building through stage door, there was a bit of a rush with some fans. Uh, somehow his cue case ended up falling to the floor down some right. steps, and something has gone wrong with his cue. There's a, either a weight or a balance point in his cue. Something has happened with one of the joints at the back, and it's actually come loose. So he's now playing with a dam damaged equipment. There's nothing he can do about it. It. So if things, you know, well, couldn't get any worse. So, so how bad. does he how does he deal with that? I mean, is it possible to put that out of your head as a professional? Or? Well, it, it's but you know he's been in the practice room there working it out, and the, you know there's nothing wrong with the cue in terms of its playability, but the the noise it makes as it strikes the cue ball, the acoustics, you know, we're very sensitive to these types of things. 